we have heard the answer here from the very beginning as with Canyon's beautiful opening welcome and song and Tom Goldtooth talking about the need for indigenous wisdom and indigenous people to be in the forefront and take leadership. Yeah. I think what we want to change the world into is a world that is far closer to the indigenous worldview than the world we live in today. When we think about climate change, I think we need to look at how do we frame the issue. And I think it's vitally important we frame the issue not just as carbon numbers, but that the problem is massive ecosystem degradation on a global scale. And that ecosystem isn't just, you know, the physical and the elemental and the wind and the water and the animals. And the ecosystem is also us. It's the human ecosystem, the cultural and economic systems that interact with all of those other things. The reason I think it's important to see it that way is because then it gives us an answer. The answer is massive ecosystem regeneration on a global scale, right? And that includes human regeneration, social, economic regeneration, uh, and that has to be on a basis of social justice. We can't have social regeneration on a basis of vast inequality. You saw John Liu's program this morning. You saw, again, those amazing places in China. There's places in Africa. There's places all over the world uh, where regeneration has happened. And dead, desiccated, poisoned land has been brought back into life and health. And that is, I think, um, a symptom I think John said, you know, our landscape reflects our consciousness. When our consciousness shifts, our landscape can revive. I think too often in the environmental movement, we're telling people, human beings are a plight on the planet. Well, I mean, you could look around and you could certainly make a case for that, but you cannot mobilize people around that idea. <laughs> Uh, I think we do much better if we say, look, you know, yes, the world is in a terrible state. It is probably worse than you ever thought. Um, but it could be better than we've ever imagined. And you have an important role to play in that. Whoever you are, whatever your gifts, whatever your talents are, you are needed to make this transition. The organization I work with is called Earth Activist Training. We teach permaculture design with a grounding in spirit and a focus on organizing and activism. Uh, we're working on setting up a longer term training program in regenerative land management so that we can help train people and then network with the land trusts and with um, placement services to get people out on the land. We're facing these issues, and they are global issues. They're not just local issues. Uh, these are things that are happening all around the world and impacting most heavily people in the global south and the lesser developed world who have the least responsibility for creating the mess that we're in. So we have to look at those issues and understand how these things are working in other places and how we can have impact and solidarity and support for people who are struggling with these issues in Latin America, in <coughs> South America, in Africa, in Asia, all over the world. Um, but when we come back to that, you know, the U.S. still has such tremendous power and impact that in some ways I think our main responsibility is right here at home to make the changes of the world. We have to speak out again for regeneration and for the role that every single person has 
in bringing us into this amazing transition that I know that we can make.